Warning, Viva La Rani is brought to you by the same guy who your girlfriend is messaging. This show is intended for real ones only. This show is not suitable for children or soft-ass adults. Now that we got that out of the way, wash your hands, drink responsibly, and as always, Viva La Rani. Eh, what do you do, babies? Welcome back to Viva La Rani. I am Ronnie, and I'm out here rolling through this six with my woe. I'm rolling through the six with my woes. You know how that shit goes. You know how that shit goes. It's so incredible. I got Jerry Karate with me. What it do, baby? Hey, what it do, player? I feel stupendous today, and it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, you look stupendous. You look tremendous. Tremendous cream fucking dollar in the dream. And whatever the fuck Biggie Small said Welcome to the video Ronnie Joey thank you so much For joining me today Hey it's a pleasure to be here bro Always man Yes sir Shout out to Broken Color For the entrance music Shout out to my cousin Benny for the entrance Warning um, Thank you so much For joining us uh, We just found out de- Devastating news <laughs> 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 Devastating Damn. Devastating Heartbreaking you know what I'm saying? But we ain't going to talk about it. You want to talk about it, Drew? We can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Listen. <sighs> Let's see. Do I want to? I don't I don't know. I don't know if I want to speak on it. No, not until it's confirmed. Not until it's confirmed. If, you know, because if, 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 if it's not that, I'm going to feel stupid. So we'll just wait on that. That's fair. Um... This isn't uh, uh, Listen I could get a lot of heat for it Right Joe And uh, speaking of the heat Nuggets versus the heat tomorrow night uh, What is it game 5 karate Or 4 I think 4 Four. Yeah 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 So I'm excited uh, I think I'll have the Nuggets uh, 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 They're gonna win man I think the Nuggets are gonna win uh, They won the last game um, So we'll see how it goes Karate are you looking forward to the game brother yeah, for sure. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, I agree. I think the Nuggets are going to take it also as well. It's uh, it's looking like that, man. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're definitely showing skill right now. Yes, sir. Um, I went to a quinceanera yesterday. Um, shout out, Mia. Uh, happy quince. May God bless you. I'm so proud to see you uh, turn into the woman that you are becoming slowly but surely. You're still a little girl, but uh, you are progressing. And um, I'm so proud of you. And a uh, uh, big shout out. Big shout out, man! I mean, it was a beautiful party. Uh, we went to. Uh, they had beautiful decorations. Um, my cousin was there uh, doing the pyrotechnics, and uh, he does the big letters. Um, big shout out! Damn, big shout out! The pyrotechnics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We found out a lot about him yesterday, correct? <laughs> right? And uh, yeah, what a guy! What a fucking guy! Um, yeah, hey, look, look here, Joey. Let's, um, let's. Uh, it, it was beautiful. Um, we had a good time. The homie Michael Mac was there. Celos, of course, was a brother. Um, and Chris was there, her other brother. Um, shout out to that family, man. Uh, beautiful family, beautiful time. Great food. They had a uh, brisket, sausage, paws, um, asada, carne, carne guisada, uh, rice and be- uh, no uh, charro beans. And uh, mashed potatoes, and they had potato salad. Man, it looked like a golden corral in there, did I was gonna say something. Like they got all the fixings and the trimmings. Uh huh. Yes, sir. I like that. Yeah, it looked like um, the village people. There's a hell of meat in there, you know. You know the village people, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As fun as they at the YMCA. As fun as they at the YMCA. Hey. And not a gay, not a, it wasn't intentionally uh, written to be a gay song. It just so happened that the village people were gay. Yeah. So there, there, there you go. The more you know. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Growing up, it, it didn't even fucking cross my mind. I was like, oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't see it as gay. Right. Let's let's make good music. Yeah, it's a youth, uh, something Christian something YMCA. I forgot what it stands for, but anyways, yeah, I didn't see it as gay. And uh, Do- Donald Trump, uh, uh, not shout out, fuck Donald Trump, but uh, he uh, comes out to that song, YMCA. 
Hey, I didn't know that. <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, shout out. And then the, the, the gay community was saying, you know, oh, is he gay? It's like, well, no. It's, it's, it's uh, It was uh, intentionally made uh for uh for the uh, the the youth center down there in uh wherever the fuck that was but uh yeah it, it was like made, like a commercial i guess like a jingle yeah that's crazy i didn't yeah, know yeah, that yeah. that's cool and then it just turned into this fucking huge thing man phenomenon huh? uh-huh that's hey cool. i love the ymca baby yeah it's a uh what what is it it's a place for young men to enjoy you can hang out with all the boys i can see i can see why the gay people um, claim that song, you know. Yeah, I mean it's a song you can perform while sitting down. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> young man. There's a place you can go. You can stay there. <laughs> it's something, something. The road you can't say. I don't know the song though. All I know is YMCA, hey, babe. You know what I'm saying? So I just know how to move too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now the village people. The other song, uh, Macho Man. That that's pretty gay. That's a gay song. Hey, that's a fucking banger. I'm, I'm gonna give credit where credit's due. That's a banger. Mm-hmm. No pun intended. You know they. I'm sure we. Hey, let's macho man, baby. Macho, macho man. Yeah, that's a banger. Got to be a macho man. <laughs> come on, man. We sing the lyrics. Yeah, come, come on, baby. <laughs> come on, baby. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. Yeah, that's a banger. Shout out to the village people. Joy, I say it every time. The policeman. Um. Is related to the man that fell from a 9-11. That, that famous uh, picture of the man falling off uh, the building um, during 9-11. Uh, yeah, that's his brother in real life, the policeman and the village people. That's so crazy. I'm pretty sure it's a policeman. Yeah. Don't, don't quote me on that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a trivia question, I believe. I remember you saying something. You know what I mean? I remember that before. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah so if you watch Viva La Rana, you know that. You know, if I can leave you with anything, you know that. How do you think he felt, man? Probably fucking devastated, right? Your brother just falling off. Yeah, man. It's his death. That's tough. Yeah, what a fucking, what a sad time. Hey, to see it. Joe Karate, thank you so much, man, uh, for coming on, man. Um, le- hey, let's talk about, what do you want to talk about? We want to talk about soccer. Yeah, let's talk about soccer, correct? Let's do it. Um, Messi signed with the U.S. team down there in Miami. Shout out. Welcome to the U.S., baby. Uh, Messi, I want to catch a game, Karate. Uh, I know it's going to be hard. I think tickets are going for like $400 um, already, you know. Um, they, hey, they they know what they got. Excuse me. And Lionel Messi is uh, the GOAT, in my opinion. So shout out to Miami and shout out to Messi for, for coming out. And uh, he got a hell of a deal, I think. Um, to sign over here, Karate. Yeah, you know what I mean? big shout out. Definitely welcome yeah. to the states. That's some something, something to see, right? That's pretty mm-hmm. pretty big deal, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I know some of the friends that I uh, talk to about soccer and stuff like that. I, I don't know too much, but they usually put me on game. But they they're like already hyped and super ready to go check it out. Like, let's get tickets. Let's go. Yeah, let's we'll see. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I would love to go see him uh, uh, play the Austin FC. I looked up um, if they play, and no, they don't. Um, but man, that would be something to see, man. Uh, there's no way I was going fucking wherever he was, Madrid or whatever. There's no way I was going over there. I don't do flights. Uh, too many fucking legends died in helicopter in helicopters and plane crashes, karate. That's why I really don't yeah. do it. Call me a pussy. Call me silly. You know who else didn't uh, fly plane again in planes and shit like that? John Madden, hmm. another goat. Another one. I bet he just he felt it. He's like, oh no, if I get on that plane, I'm dead. Yeah, we love John Madden. Shout out John Madden. Shout out John Madden. And uh, you sent me that Will Ferrell wants to play him, Karate True or False. How do you feel about that? That's that's, that's true. Uh, I don't know, man. We'll have to see, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I don't know. We'll yeah. have to see, man, right? Uh, but like you did say, if John Candy, right? Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been perfect. That would have been nuts, yeah. R.I.P. John Candy. R.I.P. Uncle Buck. Yeah, we love that. We love that. What what could have been karate? You right. know. Um, hey, to see it. Um, Joey, we're moving on. That I uh, went to go to the movies. I love the movies. I'm so happy and so proud to see people go to the movies, man. It, it truly is uh, a place where I want there to always be. I want there to always be a movie theater. And uh, I was th- I went to Comic Relief the other day, and um, shout out Comic Relief. 
Big shout out, man. And uh, I was talking to uh, old Brian down there, you know, one of the owners. And uh, excuse me, the owner. And I said, uh, you know, we were talking about um, how we miss the old movie theaters, man. How uh, how we just miss um, going to watch a movie in a theater, you know, packed with people. Um, uh, we don't really fuck with the reclining chairs and all that shit. I really don't like that karate. You know, I really don't like that. He don't like that. And I miss, um, I just miss the feel of a of an old uh, theater. And that's why we go to that other theater, karate, and watch movies because I, I feel like a real theater. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure, for sure. No, I definitely agree. Yeah, man. The, the movie theaters, as I was little, man, have been something special for sure. Just going in and watching a movie like that with everybody all together is just something different, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's quite the experience, brother. It really is. Yes, sir. And uh, speaking of the movies, I'm going to go see Transformers. Um, once score, everybody knows the rules. I'm going to go 7-7. Seven, seven. It was a good movie to um, lead into bigger things to come. Looking forward to what they bring next to the table. Um, to the table next, excuse me. Um, wow. I didn't think that movie was going to be that good. Um, I really enjoyed it, and uh, they're setting up something crazy at the end, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it, and um, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Heck yeah. Um, what number is this? Do you know? No, I don't. I don't Fucking know eight, nine. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's up few. there. But that's cool, man, that it was, it was like that. Um, I know Pete Davidson did some... A uh, voice, vocal, right, right. The yeah. voice. Who did anybody else like that? Do add some voices? Uh, some not that I know. I don't know either. But yeah, I know he did one. Who did he do? Do you remember? Mirage. Dang, that's funny. And he is my favorite. <laughs> and I hate Pete Davidson. I hate him. I think he's fucking goofy. But uh, the man can follow a script pretty fucking good because he read the lines, the shit out of those lines, man. And uh, uh, tremendous, tremendous. I, I really enjoyed him as Mirage. And he brought life to that character, man, and, and I'm excited to see uh, him in future projects. God willing. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's cool. I, I know I saw, like, a couple sneak peek, like, little trailers of uh-huh. how he was doing the voice voices for Mirage, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Like, it sounded the way he was doing it. Was yeah, yeah. Sounded like it was going to be something special. Yeah. Uh, I hate the guy, but I got to give credit where credit's due, and uh, that was tremendous. He did such a great job. Shout out Pete Davidson. Shout out. Um, I think his fucking Taco, Kel- Taco Bell commercials are fucking dumb as shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but it is what it is. Um, Karate, do you have anything you want to talk about before, before we get into the UFO stuff as we usually do, brother? Well, uh, as I usually like to get into a little bit of sports, you know we got a fight tonight, Ron. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. We got Mr. Money Mayweather. You were telling me, yeah. Versus... Uh, the Teflon Don uh, son, John Gotti the third. Damn, I had no idea he was a fighter karate. I, I had no idea either. But once I saw the names, I was like, Yeah, you know, I mean, not too many people would be named John Gotti, right? right. Probably, but I, let me check it out, right? Yeah, so I looked it up and I, I it was confirmed he is definitely kin mm-hmm. to him, so that's pretty crazy. Should be something to see, you know. With um, it's Mayweather, you know, I'm sure yeah. he's gonna, gonna catch the dub, but. It's cool to see them fight, be- or to see him fight, because we're not gonna know, you know, when the last time we're gonna see exactly, him fight. exactly. So, uh, just hope for so- something cool, you know, some excitement, some mm-hmm. entertainment. I think it's on the Zeus Network. It's like twenty bucks, mm. not too bad. Hell yeah, a little something. Hell check yeah. out. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be like five rounds or right. ten rounds, you know, but uh, we'll see. Should be some pretty good action. I hope so. Yeah, absolutely, man. That sounds interesting. It's intriguing for sure, and uh, hell yeah, man, that'd be badass. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, hopefully no uh, gangsters and mobsters get involved. You know, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hopefully Mayweather comes out with his kneecaps and his fingers uh-huh. attached. You know, uh-huh. allegedly, allegedly. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Gotti <laughs> family. I love that. I love them. Shout out. Shout out. What an interesting, uh, interesting life, man. Can't believe people uh, allegedly live that life. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, that's nuts. That's pretty fucking that monster cool. gang gang life is crazy. Allegedly, allegedly. Yeah. Uh, karate. Um, I've been really fucking aroused by this story. I've been hard as a rock. Um, or I guess in this case a a UFO. I feel like are they hard? Do you know? Do you think they're? So probably probably solid fucking metal or whatever the probably, fuck it is. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Some type of material. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, some fucking indestructible ass 
material, brother. Yeah. Um, so there was a. Um, I don't think we talked about it last week. Huh? Any of it? Mm-mm. No. Uh, let's talk about this man. Let's talk about this um, family who found a, a supposed UFO crashing. Okay, crash. Um, and and this is a. Uh, here we go. A Las Vegas family called 911 in late April after an object fell from the sky into their backyard containing what they claimed were two large aliens with shiny eyes. A Las Vegas police officer arrived at the house on April 30th to interview the family. They claimed to see a big creature that was long, pause, 10 feet tall, according to body camera footage released by the Las Vegas police on Friday. The man also added that they were 100% not human. This call was one of several that night in Nevada, California, and Utah, claiming to have seen a flash in the sky, one of which was caught on the body camera footage. So imagine this, karate, right? Nevada, California, and Utah. Three pe- three different fucking um, uh, states saw this one object. Um, yeah, they said 100% not human. Um, the U.S. government received more than 510 claims of a U.S. sighting between uh, 2004 and mid-2022, according to a declassified version of an annual report from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, published January 12th. So, um, yeah, they've had a lot of reports. Um, the man said that saw the alien. It was a tall, skinny alien creature with a greenish color that was about 8 to 10 feet tall, was reportedly hiding behind a forklift. In a Las Vegas family's backyard after a potential UFO crashed overnight, April 30th into May 1st, uh, he said, I looked at it in the eyes and my body just froze. It was like I was having sleep paralysis. A witness who didn't give his name said on a in a YouTube video, he had a weird looking face, big feet and shiny eyes and a big mouth. I can hear its loud, deep breathing pause and its stomach kept moving. He would just stare at me and seconds later, I could move again. He called 911 at 12.25 a.m. on May 1st and told the dispatcher that the large creatures were in his backyard. They're not human. 100 percent not human, he said. Uh, he told the dispatcher 911 in an audio recording, I swear to God, it's not a joke. It's actually real. That's what he said, Joe. He, and uh, he says, like, there were subjects, right? Yeah. And he didn't want to say yeah. to make him sound crazy, crazy. so that they would believe him. That's they need, crazy. They needed help. Yeah, that's nuts, bro. Yep. And how about this, Karate? Las Vegas police followed up on the call after a different officer's body cam dated uh a same night april 30th around 11 50 he captured a glowing green light streak across the sky from the top right corner until it appeared to crash and disappear in the distance at least 21 other people across eastern california arizona and nevada and utah reported seeing the glowing green light according to the american meteor society what the fuck do we think about that man that's crazy I, and i saw uh, I think it was where they said that it landed, right? Or it crashed. Yeah. The person was saying that it was like, it, when they looked in that direction, that it was like distorted, like blurry. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I have that, what he said, Carl. You remember that, right? He's, so, somewhere where he talks about that. Yeah, he said. Uh, That's crazy. Damn, I don't know if I, if I. Oh, it was all blurry. Not my vision. Only the backyard. And I heard thousands of footsteps around me. A couple seconds later. The footsteps were gone. What the fuck? Damn. I bet it looks like heat waves, probably. It like heat waves. Right? You remember? Oh, you see yeah, heat yeah. waves? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Probably that. When he's like, what the fuck? Yeah. He said, it's not my eyes. <sighs> what do you think about that, brother? That's crazy, man. You know, and I said this the last time, it's just getting crazier and crazier. Mm-hmm. With the stuff that the air, you know, the airfield they're catching, mm-hmm. and then now this, mm-hmm. and that there was multiple people that had calls. You know what I mean? That yeah, many? yeah. Imagine you're one of the dispatchers, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I hope no one's seriously like injured at that time or like dying because they're just getting bombarded with fucking phone calls. You right. know, and that would be a bad time to die. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, what do you think about that joke? Fucking weird, huh? Yeah, that's crazy, man. I, that one is a real creepy one, you know? The yeah, other yeah, one yeah. are pretty pretty 
pretty crazy, but this is like, yeah. Okay, now people are seeing it yeah, closer yeah. than a distance away. You know. Yes, yeah, sir. What yeah, if they're sure. like? What if they landed right by accident? Mm-hmm. And then they came out and they saw homeboy and they got froze and they're like, oh, they ain't scared of us or like, or if they are scared of us, you know what I mean? Yeah. I wonder what they take from that, you know? What yeah. they take away from that? For sure. For sure, man. Um. Yeah, that's crazy, brother. Eight to ten feet tall behind a forklift. They're probably scared too. Right, because I think if they wanted to hurt that person, they would have hurt him. Yeah, that's true. Um, and and for it being so, the the man's uh, description being so specific, that's what gets me. Right, he said his stomach was moving. The fuck does that mean? He got a shit. He got a boo boo. He got to take a dump, Joey. He said, you know, he's oh, probably he scared. saw me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so he couldn't do nothing but strike him with a. Uh, so, uh, like a paralysis to make you not move. It was like, oh, uh, you know, he probably petrified his shit, and he had to go take a shit. I don't know. I can't explain that. I don't know what that means, man. But I'm excited. Those kind of stories. That's what uh, this podcast is all about. You know, I live for those. I live for those moments. Those uh, um, descriptions, karate, it's you know, unknown stuff. Who knows? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, do you believe them? I believe him. I think I do too, man. I think I do too. And the officer, there was two officers that went to respond to that at that time. And in the video, one of the officers is telling them, yeah, my partner saw it with his body cam. And he was like, what? They were like, what? You saw it too? He said, yeah, yeah, we saw it too. So, uh, that, and then uh, that's probably the only reason they really fucking believed him, karate. Because they saw something, which is fucked. Because, you know, maybe, maybe you know, some a lot of people are telling the truth, and you know, it's just it, I get it. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. I get it, man. Um, but uh, thank God that officer caught it on his body cam. Um, there's the proof, right? Maybe we can analyze it, see what it is, and um, yeah, yeah. And of course, they would have something to distort. Uh, is distort a word? Uh, to 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 uh, mess with the cameras, of course aliens right. have that technology for sure, you know, because we have that kind of right. technology. Exactly. So why couldn't they? And people are like, oh yeah, the cameras just stopped working. It's like, but yeah, of course, of course they should, <laughs> right? They don't want to get caught. They don't want to get caught. Right. They're and not they supposed probably, to be seen. Exactly. And they probably have protocol too. Yeah. Where they're like, hey, if you fall. Make sure you're just clicking this button and and hide behind a forklift. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, anything bigger than you, right? And he's me on you on you on you That's how they sound, Joe. He said, "Shit, this ain't that big." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Eight to ten feet tall is fucking humongous. How tall was Andre the Giant? Uh, I think he was seven four. Sheesh. I think the giant Gonzalez was eight foot or mm-hmm. close to eight feet. I don't know. He was huge. I think yeah, the jo- really- maybe seven, ten, seven, eleven. I don't Damn, know. Damn, but eight to know. ten. Yeah, eight to ten is huge. Huge. That's like the ceiling right here, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, he said tall, skinny, Link. stomach moving, stomach moving, palms sweaty. Uh huh. Knees weak, arms are heavy. <laughs> Mom spaghetti. Uh huh. Yeah, man. Yeah, for somebody to describe that, why the fuck would they make that up? And uh, George Knapp, uh, which is a UFO person. Uh, uh, not He's not a UFO person. He's a journalist. And it just so happened that people with UFO stories come to him and talk to him. But uh, he's a respected journalist. He's the real deal. And... Um, he said, I think he said that they try to reach out to the family that saw them and they won't answer. Here's another thing, Karate. I just, I just, I just remembered. And they said that, uh, they said that, uh, uh, fucking, um, allegedly there was men in suits driving around in unmarked vehicles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. They said that. Yeah, that's crazy. So, of course, they're going to tell him, hey, you fucking say anything? Allegedly, 
probably, you know, we can do something to you. You know, and keep it on a hush hush. You know, you didn't see anything type shit. You know, I can see that karate. I can see that. Yeah. Threatening them, or maybe not threatening them, gave them money. Here. Yeah. Here, here's a fucking $3 million. Can you keep it down? I wonder if they confiscated anything from their land. Exactly. Either. Yeah. Some fucking samples of of where they were standing. Some footprints. Right. Taking pictures uh, and analyzing. Right. I wonder if they can go through their phone data. Like, uh-huh. To see what the temperature was around that time. Mm. If that means anything. You mm-hmm. know, like, if they can access different. Radioactive. If they were radioactive. Karate, listen. Access their home ring doorbells and all yeah, that yeah. Kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, if they can undistort it. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, there's no way the government doesn't have uh, technology like that. There's no way that <laughs> right. that the government's that stupid where it's just like, oh, yeah, we never heard of UFOs. Oh, oh I don't know what that means. Aliens never heard of them. They know, man. They're not stupid. They're not dumb. And didn't allegedly we knew we knew about nine eleven before it was gonna happen. Like we knew that they were gonna attack it allegedly. Mm. Didn't I think there was like reports that yeah we knew about them wanting to attack us. Sheesh. So if they know that shit, dog. Yeah. Come on, man. Stop playing with us. For real. Come on, man. The U.S. is not dumb. We're not fucking ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. We our government is. I would say top tier. There's probably a department that knows. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like crazy. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Unknown fucking like hush hush. Like you know we killed Bigfoot in '95, right? Yeah, yeah. Like for shit. sure, for we sure. We actually killed Nessie in 2000. Yeah. Oh yeah, there used to be those. Right. Those things out there. It's like what? Wait, Damn. wait, what? They're like, yeah, we got them in uh, in Florida. We got them down there in Florida right now. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. Yeah, that'd be nuts. They're like, oh yeah, he's just a giant ape. We have him, you know, down there in Denver. Keep him cold. You should see the size of bananas he eats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. some crazy, like, yeah, yeah. joking around and shit. Yeah. Hey, yeah, little steak. Damn. Damn. Carl, that'd be crazy, brother. That'd be crazy. It makes sense. I I don't think we don't know. You know, I I, I truly feel we we are the best country. I truly feel that. I truly feel we are probably the most advanced besides like China and uh, Japan. Japan's pretty fucking advanced. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel I feel we know better than that karate. We're not just out here blind to fucking UFOs and shit like that. Right. There's no way. There's no way. No way. Yeah. 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 I feel pretty safe when it comes to shit like that. I feel pretty fucking. I feel like we're on top of that. Imagine, yeah, right. Imagine there's a different department that we don't know about that's already trying to make some type of, you know, precautionary measures, yeah. weaponry or something. You know. Yes, sir. That's crazy to think, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. Let me see this guy that came on News Nation. Karate, you heard about this guy? Mm mm. Oh, excuse me. He's another one that's been in contact. Yeah. So this guy. Uh, let me let me take a look here, Karate. He's called the military whistleblower, and uh, he <laughs> he claims um, that there is uh, UFOs, brother. Let me look him up. You, na, na, News Nation UFO interview. How about that? Okay. I'll look that up. Military was Here we go, baby. Here we go. It says, military whistleblower claims U.S. has UFO retrieval program. It's what the fuck we're talking about here. An Air Force veteran and former member of the National Geo's patio intelligence agency is coming forward with information on what he claims are extraterrestrial crafts recovered and kept secret by the u.s government blurry videos or unidentified flying objects have long been a staple of those looking for evidence that stories of ufos may not be conspiracy theories um okay okay let's see um come on dog okay so now the air force veteran and former task force member david grushk Grusk 
G-R-U-S-C-H is formally blowing the whistle on secrets he had he said no one has ever shared publicly before. Um Grusk spoke exclusively to award winning investigator Okay, we don't give a fuck, dog. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Um, in his role within the U.S. defense establishment, 36-year-old Grusk said he was trusted with some of the government's most intimate secrets. In his time as the U- at the UAP task force, Grusk said the group was refused to access to crash retrieval program. These are retrieving non-human origins, technical vehicles, call it spacecraft if you want, if you want, will will non-human exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed gruck said according to gruck that includes spacecrafts from quite a number of other species <laughs> he says i thought it was totally nuts and i thought at first i'd been deceived it was a ruse he told Cohart. People started to confide in me, approach me. I have plenty of senior former intelligence officers that came to me, and many of them of which I knew almost my whole career, and that confided in me that they were part of a program. Uh, Grusk said those officials named the program which he had never heard of before. They told me based on their oral testimony, pause, um, and they provided, provided me documents and other proof that there are, in fact, a program that the UAP task force was read into, he said. Um, so pretty much, Karate, this motherfucker is saying, we have fucking UFOs. We have retrieved UFOs. Um, and then um, when asked, you know, do we have any um, uh, uh, any bodies retrieved from there? Um, he said, uh, allegedly, when 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 uh when spaceships craft when spacecraft crash most of the time you know more than likely there'll be uh bodies or pilots um with them what do you think about that though that's crazy that's what he said i don't know nothing you know what i mean allegedly allegedly that's crazy that's nuts bro but it sounds very plausible that there is a type of you know yeah group that that does that that's nuts uh huh that's nuts gotta be got to be we have to be on top of things like that karate right I think it's a rarity when we're caught off guard yeah yeah and then of course people are like oh what are they distracting us from you know with this you know the government's distracting us maybe not maybe not man maybe they're just fucking maybe this guy just came out at a good time and and distracting means you're putting all your focus on that <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah. have to put all your fucking focus on yeah, that. yeah yeah you know what i mean and a lot of people don't believe in ufos right yeah or that's aliens crazy. that's crazy yeah so i don't yeah. think it is a distraction right <laughs> stupid yeah <laughs> yeah the whole world is not gonna stop yeah exactly thing. exactly exactly yes sir i don't Damn. know man and intrigues me god right. what could what could it be i don't know i don't know brother yeah for real that's crazy it just seems like every uh every podcast or every other podcast some, we've been some is we're, we're definitely having to to report it yeah which is kind of sure. crazy. Do you feel like we were doing this a lot last year? No. No, right? Uh-uh. Now that it's, it's being ramped up. Yeah, back then we had to, like, find shit. Now it's finding us. Right. Uh, Damn. And uh-uh. it's only getting wilder. Oh, yeah. No Gene, just wilder. No Deontay. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I beat Tyson Fury. I beat him that first round. <laughs> He counted to ten slowly. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. What if that's their spacecraft called, Joe? What if they name it the Brass Bomber or the Bronze Bomber? Damn. 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 They nickname it. Damn. Yeah, I don't know, man. That intrigues me. An eight to ten foot being. Imagine how fucking big that fucking spaceship has to be. <laughs> you gotta be a fucking. <laughs> has to be fucking huge. They're all little in there and shit. <laughs> or they're like pods. Yeah, they might be like pods. They just lay back or something. Uh huh. Hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Damn. 
Damn. And they fly. It's still flying, but they just stay back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Boba Fett. Right, right, right. Damn. Damn. Sheesh. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. You ever think if you look far into YouTube and go down all the little holes oh, yeah. that you'll find maybe something mm-hmm. that they haven't caught yet to take down yet? No, Joey, I don't think so. You don't think so? You I think don't think so. It? Yeah, on I think it they're 24/7? on it. Yes, sir. Sheesh. I think that's like top priority to them, no cap. And I think they're slowly letting us in on it. Maybe the government released him and they're like, hey, you know, you go out there. Seem like a whistleblower. See how they respond to you. And then we'll see if we can release more information. Yeah. It's not like a fucking horse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn. A cover up for that wouldn't be that hard, right? Just yeah. Just like, oh, this guy's, he was discharged. He was yep. wild. He's, he's just, yep. yeah. Yeah, man. Damn. Hell yeah, Joey. Damn. I could see that. Right. I could see that. Get the reaction from the people first. Yeah. And then if if we respond, you know, good, they'll be like, okay, we give a little bit more. Let's give them a little bit more. What if that's the same thing the aliens are doing? See how we react? Yeah. Like last night, you know? Yeah. Damn. That's how they've been doing it forever. Yep. Let's see. Let's see how they respond to us. Damn. That could be. That very much could be. Mm-hmm. It's wild. Yes, sir. I was talking to my cousin yesterday, karate. And uh, he said his his dad, his dad, my tío, excuse me. Um, let me take a look at this. Let me take a look at this here. He said this karate, right? He said that in the eighties, uh, my uncle claimed to have raced a UFO and his barracuda back in the day. Hmm. Said so he was in Dallas driving late at night, and that uh, he saw like a glow or something. Anyways, I would like to have my uncle on here. Let's talk about it. And he says he's like dead ass about it. He's like, yeah, I, I'm telling you, I fucking saw it. I'm telling you, we, I was trying to race it. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Where, where was this at? Somewhere in Dallas. Dallas, sheesh. Nighttime? Mm-hmm. Obviously, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I would love to uh, have him on the podcast. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Get that story off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... uh, yeah, What a crazy time we're living in, huh? Yeah. Damn. Joy Cardi, moving on. Let me ask you this, brother. I saw this on a... Uh, on a... Uh, on a as it's a meme, right? One, the red pill is you could be rich. Right, the blue pill is you bring someone dead back. Hmm. The yellow pill is you never feel pain. The black pill is you never catch a disease. Which one would you take? You can only choose one. Uh, I'm gonna pick the the red right with the how much money? Just be rich. Just be rich. I probably do that. Yeah. Yeah. As much as I don't want to bring people back, that's how it's supposed to be. You know. Exactly. And if I'm supposed to get sick, that's what's supposed to happen. If I'm, mm. you're not supposed to not feel pain. You know what I mean? Because mm. that could be different. That could be emotional pain. It could be a lot of stuff. Yeah. And what? You gotta feel. Yeah. Will we really be human if we didn't? You know. Mm. So I think that the money. You know, what I mean, the other rest, whatever. Yeah. And uh, I think the money will be cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Damn. I was gonna choose not not get a disease. But uh, yeah, that makes total fucking sense. Yeah, just be rich. Yeah. And plus, hopefully, you're so fucking rich that you get a you, disease. Yeah, you, just you pay, pay it for off. It. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one kind of covers that one. Hell yeah, bit, in a sense. But yeah, yeah you got to feel pain. Yeah, got to feel. The, unfortunately, you know, everybody wants to bring somebody back. You know. Oh I mean? yeah. But unfortunately, oh yeah. You know, that's how it's supposed to go. Yeah, I'd love to bring that's my grandma back, but not now. Not yeah. in this world. Yeah, for not sure. where we are now. Should have a damn heart attack. Die again. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, man. That's a good. That's a good question, though. That's yeah, a good one. that is a good one. That is a good one. That was a very, uh, very um, open. It was a wide choice. Wide choice. Wide. Very variety of different variety of choices. I love that. Those are all good ones. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they're all. I mean, they're definitely you know good choices too. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. That's what I'll pick. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Quad, you got anything else for me, brother? How long have we been going here? About a good 40 piece. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, let's see. What um Back on the the fighting, we have uh, Amanda Nunez. Bro. Oh yeah, shout out, shout out, retiring. Yeah, let's cut it up for Amanda Nunez one time. Bro. Let's go. Shout out. Thirty four uh, is young. Yeah, thirty four. Yeah, she was the first woman to secure two world championships, uh, to defend the bantamweight eleven times. Like she has like a yeah. nice amount of accolades under her. Uh, I don't really think there's anybody else that's really messing with her. Who could touch her? Yeah, and she's her at 34. You know, go out on, go out like like the champion go, that you are. Yes, sir. Go out on top. Yeah, for yes, sure. No one to walk away. Mm-hmm. And yes, sir. And I think everybody was uh, happy for that and and uh, proud of her. So that's that's good for her, man. It was it was pretty cool to see. Yeah, big shout out, man. What a what a well deserved career. Um, what a way to end it. Um, I'm all for that karate, even while you still can. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, fighting in, in the grand stage like that is a lot of people's dreams, and to be able to do that on the high level that she did is is also something very special uh, that we'll probably rarely see. You know. Yep. Like Khabib, he he quit because he wanted to honor his dad, I believe. Um, so yeah, good for him. Mm -hmm. Of course, we'll be like, damn, what if, what if, what if? Um, but he was undefeated, I believe, and he, he went out on top. Right. Yeah. Barry Sanders, he, he another great athlete who uh, went out on top on on the peak of his career. Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. You don't want to see uh, yourself um, become incapable. Um, good for you. Go on top. I agree. Shout out! Big shout out! Yep. Because a lot of 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 athletes don't know when to quit. Yeah, they want to keep chasing the yeah yeah that glory that 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 high. Yeah. You know, Ric Flair fucking wrestles still to this day. He's fucking seventy five years old or whatever. Come on, man, hang it up. Yeah. You gotta know when to stop, man. Got to. You could do something else. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you don't want to see your heroes get old. LeBron's almost there, Karate. Yeah, for sure. He's almost there. You know, getting swept like that, he can't save his team no more. He can't carry the, the load uh, pause as much. And, right. Uh, it, it, I don't want to see his game deteriorate. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's still putting up uh, uh, buckets. Still putting up points, good, but but you gotta start mm -hmm. slowing down. Thinking about the future, yeah, yeah. Father Time's gonna sneak up, yes, yeah, sir. To all of us, mm -hmm. eventually, for sure. Yep, that's how it happens. That's how yeah, it goes. Sir. That's it, baby. Jordi, you got anything else for me? I believe that is it, my man. Yeah, I think it's another successful podcast for sure. Um, yeah, we went out of this world into another galaxy, came back, and um, yeah, I like that. I like when we get to talk about UFOs, man. Yeah, for real. This it's always uh, almost chilling, right? Because oh, yeah, like when we report something, it's gonna be something different. And yeah, you, yeah, and that's crazy. Yes, sir. That is happening so frequently now. Now, what's gonna happen? I don't know. I hope I'm, I'm around to see it. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. For sure. Yeah. Hopefully, God willing, it's nothing too bad, right? I hope yeah. it's not catastrophic. Yeah, yeah. Nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We do not need that. Yeah, fuck that. Yes, sir. All right, Joey, man. Thank you so much for coming on with that running. It ain't no problem, man. Another one. Another one. I appreciate you, man. Thank you to Broken Color for my entrance music. Thank you to Cousin Benefit for the entrance warning. And thank you to uh, Sweet Dreamer. Low case S, low case O, low case Y, capital D, capital R, capital E, capital A, capital M, low case R. So Dreamer, he just came out with another banger. Y'all go peep him out. Joy Karate, thank you for putting the links down low. Thank you for everything you do. You are truly one of the GOATs. Maybe the GOAT. Right? I appreciate you, Joy. Shout out. 
Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Big shout out. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much for listening. We'll see y'all next time. Live from Studio 32. I'm RC. It's your boy Joey Karate. And we'll see you soon. God willing, baby. God bless you. And uh, do like two bucks there and keep your head up. Ooh, Wait, is that? Yeah, that is two bucks. Keep your head up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two Okay, big shout out. Big shout out. And um, thank you so much, y'all. Oh, uh, Salvador, happy birthday. Even though I fucking hate you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> shout out. Big shout out. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, Joey. Joey Karate, do me a favor. What's that? And take us out. Let's go. One, two, three, no rats on me. You don't know the